Padilla, Series 68, and I want to say Turtle. Hey, Brandon Evil Kane, this is Cigar Blog. So, check this out, Padilla 68. Seems to be a little bit more of a throwback to the classic style of Padillas. Construction seems uh, pretty good, has a nice, whoa, look at that, one, two, three, f almost four caps, good lord. I hope I'm seeing that right. Well, it would be nice if I actually had that in frame and in focus. Yeah, there's at least three, possibly four caps. Overall, no large veins, no lumpy lumpy stuff, uh, stems and weirdness sticking out. Construction seems to be excellent. <coughs> Beyond that, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a tickle in my throat all day. And beyond, seemingly excellent construction. I don't really know a whole lot more about this other than Padilla is one of those kind of uh, higher end brands that I typically don't smoke too much because they uh, tend to be a little pricey. Okay, so just a uh, <laughs> just trying to check the airflow on that. There's already just a nice tobacco sweetness coming off of that. Now let's see if I can actually get this lit without the flame blowing all over the place and making an absolutely unholy mess of my cigar. Wow. Okay, I got a little bit uh, of turbulence here. Well. Blue. Very nice, huh? Right, well, I'm going to see if I can maybe just kind of step around here. There we go. I have no idea if I'm in frame or not. Okay, so yes, clearly I need to invest in another torch flame lighter because that was probably one of my worst on-camera lights ever. Anyway, so far just right off the bat, that's interesting. So this spice, the touch of pepper hits you in the back of the throat. Kind of this um, sweet tobacco -y kind of almost like a cookie note. Like a gingerbread kind of thing, maybe. I don't know. For some reason, I've kind of been noticing a lot of gingerbread flavors and stuff. It's just that sleek, slightly sweet, little bready, good clean tobacco, such, you know, things like that. Hmm. All right. A couple of different things going on in here. This ought to be interesting to do. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and smoke this down about the first inch here. See if anything kind of stabilizes and changes, gets better, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Go ahead and give a proper update from there. Okay, so right about, right about an inch or so in, I know shortly after I started, there was a little bit of an oddity. I kind of actually tapped a little bit. And just like a hair flaked off the tip, or foot, I should say. But so far, about an inch in. I want to say it's kind of had a slightly, slightly bready retrohale with a main flavor, which is kind of, I want to say coffee milk. Yeah, kind of like that whole coffee latte kind of thing. You know, it's, it's kind of, it's got the coffee notes, it's got the cocoa notes, it's got a little bit of breadiness to it, a little bit of baking spice here and there. I like complexity. I guess we're getting at. Also, it would be probably a good idea if I actually paid attention to where my camera was looking instead of, you know, just kind of all over the place here. <laughs> Sorry. So, anyway. Wow, that's not good acoustics in there. Okay.
in case you're wondering, yes, it's about 98 degrees right now. My brain is starting to not work good. <sighs> yeah, it's over. There's a number of different flavors going on in here. It seems a little predominantly on the kind of coffee, mocha-ish side. But very, very light, you know? I mean, it's got kind of that coffee, clean tobacco, maybe a touch of cocoa here and there. But uh, overall, though, kind of a little nondescript. I'm thinking this is going to be one of those deals that's going to like build up and eventually kind of, you know, get a little bit more personality as you get through it. So I'm going to go ahead and smoke this down to the halfway point and see if that's how it works out. Okay, well this seems to be a pretty good halfway point. Point is, it seems to be a good halfway point because Augusta Wayne came up and uh, kind of blew the ash tail off, so uh, I'm calling this the halfway point regardless. <laughs> So far, it's kind of a uh, flavor wise been kind of interesting. You get that kind of dark molasses -y note, that kind of coffee milk, a little bit of birdiness, good clean tobacco, light sweetness. Pepperiness has kind of died down, which is good. But there's still a little bit of spice to it. I mean, overall, there's a lot going on in this. It's kind of hard to actually pinpoint anything, and uh, you know, it's kind of proved to be a rather, rather nice little symphony cigar, you know? Everything kind of blends together, but you know you can kind of tell where the woodwinds are, you can tell where the strings are, etc., etc. Definitely turning out pretty good. I'd be kind of cautious because on the build-up to this one, I could have swore that one line or another had kind of an almost soapy taste in the background. Fortunately, that's not this one, at least not yet. Yeah, there's, this is kind of your classic cigar because, you know, it's got flavor, it's got a lot of different flavors, but everything's blended real well to the point where, you, you know, it's descriptive, but it still blends in nicely, as opposed to overblending where, you know, you can't really pick anything out. So far, though, burn is pretty good. You can kind of see that, uh, little... I don't know if it shows up in the camera, but you know, there's a little, what's called a toothiness to the wrapper. It's kind of subtle in this one. You can find other cigars that have it a little bit more prominently, but uh, every so often you see little nodules of oil bubble up. Just a quick side note here about uh, lighters, though. This just popped in my head. I wanted to actually touch on this due to my craptastic light. Uh, the, type of, the type of flame that a lighter produces, there's usually two different types of flame. There's your natural flame, which you find like Zippos, Bix, things like that. And there's your jet flame, which you find like jet lines and cleavers and you know, your typical torch lighter. There's kind of upsides and downsides to both of these. Your natural flame is going to be a little gentler, a little more gradual. But at the same time, it's kind of an indoor only thing because it tends to blow out in a heartbeat. Whereas your torch lighter is going to be pretty windproof, pinpoint precise, but can also end up just scorching the bejesus out of the end of an actual cigar to the point where all you taste is burnt. Overall though, that kind of depends on uh, what your personal preference is and where you plan to smoke. Because like me, I smoke outside, so I kind of prefer the jet flames because I can actually get a cigar lit without having to jump through too many hoops. That said, most of these are butane lighters and butanes have a bad habit of dying randomly. Why? I don't know. Well, you know I just want to touch on that real quick. Beyond that, I'm going to keep smoking this down and see if anything kind of changes, wakes up, does anything different, or uh, maybe strikes up a little harder. Anyway, let's see you at the middle. Okay, kind of about the end here. So far, I've been noticing the flavors have been pretty pronounced and kind of all over the place, but in a good way. It's kind of reminding me of kind of, I want to say like a coffee creole. It's got that coffee nose, it's got kind of a molasses sweetness. It started off a little spicy. After the first inch, that spice mellowed out a bit. After the halfway point, that spice was gone completely. You get that kind of coffee, creamy, slightly molasses, like I said. A little bit of breadiness to it. Retro Hill started off kind of almost gingerbready, and since the halfway point, it's kind of taken on almost like a caramel with a, like a lightly roasted coffee note. Very interesting, very much worth, worth the price of admission so far. 
definitely a good coffee cigar by far. Of course, you can drink with whatever you know. You can drink whatever you like with it. Yeah, you're obviously gonna drink a cigar. <laughs> anyway, as far as drink pairings go, I would definitely recommend something very coffee or you know, yeah, coffee. I mean, obviously you can drink whiskey with it. Obviously, whiskey goes pretty much with every cigar. But uh, this one, I would definitely recommend coffee more than anything else. Beyond that, though, that's pretty much it. Medias are kind of a boutique brand and kind of uh, a little on the pricey side. Boxes typically run into triple digits regardless of where you are. So uh, be cautious of that. Other than that, um, yeah, if you can afford them, by all means. Definitely a good cigar, a good kickback on a hot afternoon. With a nice coffee, having a good conversation. Beyond that, not much else to say. Excellent cigar. And that's pretty much all she wrote. If you like this review or any other review, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know if you had a different experience. Better yet, let me know if there's anything you want to see. Otherwise, um, you're going to get like 20 minutes of me playing Minecraft or something. Yeah, I'm kind of running out of stuff to review. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to check out my Twitch stream. Sundays and Wednesday nights, midnight to 2 a.m. I've been doing Blade and Soul and Grand Theft Auto 5. That's my current lineup as of July 2020. Other than that, that's pretty much all I got. I'll see you next time.